Last month, in the calm waters of Suao Bay on Taiwan's northeast coast, three unmanned sea drones sliced silently across the surface. The stealthy Carbon Voyager 1, the nimble Black Tide 1, and the explosive-laden Sea Shark 800 weren't just engineering marvels, they were signals. Taiwan is preparing for war, and drones are at the heart of its strategy. The timing is critical. The U.S. Indo-Pacific Command estimates China's military could be ready to invade Taiwan by 2027. Beijing has never ruled out using force to seize the self-governing island it considers a breakaway province. With each passing year, the military balance across the 180-kilometer Taiwan Strait tilts more in China's favor. Unlike Russia's land invasion of Ukraine, any Chinese assault on Taiwan would begin with an amphibious landing. That's where Taiwan's topography offers a sliver of hope. The island's shallow beaches, rough coastal waters and steep mountains make it a difficult target. But geography alone isn't enough. Taipei has embraced what's known as the Porcupine Strategy, a defense doctrine that aims to make Taiwan too costly to conquer. And central to that vision is the use of drones. From naval craft to high-altitude surveillance vehicles, drones give Taiwan reach, agility, and affordability. At the recent Sea Drone Expo, it was clear the government wants to scale these capabilities fast. Under the Drone National Team initiative, Taiwan is betting on its tech sector to produce drones that can disrupt a numerically superior force. That's not an impossible ask. Taiwan is already a global leader in high-tech manufacturing. Companies like TSMC produce over 90% of the world's most advanced semiconductors. But defense-grade drones require a very different industrial strategy, one built to survive wartime conditions. To that end, the Ministry of National Defense is working alongside the state-run Changshan Institute and private contractors. Simultaneously, the Ministry of Economic Affairs is helping startups develop dual-use drones, machines that serve commercial and military roles alike. President William Lai has said he wants Taiwan to become Asia's drone hub. But defense experts warn that the island's progress has been uneven. Taiwan plans to build 15,000 dual-use drones per month by 2028. Yet in real combat scenarios, thousands could be lost in just a day. Current stockpiles remain modest. Even with support from U.S. arms deals, including loitering munitions like switchblades and ISR drones like the MQ-9B, Taiwan faces a massive capability gap. A recent U.S. Naval Institute report estimated that Taiwan's current drone arsenal could only sustain four to five waves of strikes against China's forces. To win time, Taiwan must innovate faster. Ukrainian battlefield tactics have shown that drones evolve rapidly under fire. Reconnaissance, strike capability, Swarm tactics and anti-drone defenses are all critical. In Taiwan's case, these dimensions are still underdeveloped. There's also a debate about where to focus limited resources. Should Taiwan concentrate on defending beaches or preparing for a prolonged inland fight? Some experts argue the island's mountainous terrain could be its greatest asset if drones are adapted for post-landing resistance in urban and jungle warfare. The challenge ahead isn't just building more drones, it's building smarter ones. Cheaper, smaller, terrain-optimized, and rapidly deployable. That's what will matter when seconds count and the enemy is already on shore. Taiwan's drone revolution is a race against time. With the PLA modernizing and 2027 looming, the clock is ticking.